Today I'm taking part in the L'Oreal 2 minute challenge. What I'll be trying to do is replicate this runway look from the L'Oreal Melbourne Fashion Festival. I've got two minutes in which to do it and a range of L'Oreal Paris products to use. Luckily we've been able to have a head start and put our foundation on first. So for my particular look it was the L'Oreal Paris True Match Minerals Foundation. So that's already applied. So let's set the clock for two minutes, do the rest of my face, see how we go and have some fun. Okay, first step is the eyeshadow. This is the L'Oreal Paris Color Appeal Trio Pro in Golden Fidelity. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my entire lid in the lightest color. Now I'm going to do some contouring with the darkest color and for this particular look it goes up above the um, crease and extends out and then uh, covers the entire lower lid. So just repeating that on both sides. That is then followed by the um, contour coal eyeliner in carbon black. And the next step is the eyebrow pencil. Um, and this is in medium brown. Now the great thing about this product is it's not just a pencil, it's also got a comb um, sort of brush to keep the brows in place and as an added little bonus it's got like a tiny little pair of tweezers which I won't have time to use today but they're a great feature. The next uh, product is the L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara. Now this has two steps. The first step um, deposits um, some fibers onto your lashes so that when you use the mascara on top it will give you exceptionally long lashes. Okay and the next step is the blush which is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Blush in Nude Brown. And that's followed by a bronzer, um, the L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze Bronzer. And for this particular look, it's just used on the cheeks. And then the lipstick. Oh, that's the gong. So, two minutes. I've just achieved the look. The lipstick was the L'Oreal pa Paris Color Riche Anti-Age Serum in Pearly Praline, which is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Wouldn't have fitted that in the two minutes. But anyway, let's have a look at what I was trying to achieve. That's the look I was going for. Obviously, I don't have the face of the model, but I think I've pretty much got the makeup there. Um, this is the makeup sheet that I was working from as well. Um, it's certainly not the most precise or accurate or neatest makeup I've ever done, but I think I've been able to pretty much achieve the look in two minutes, which is a credit to L'Oreal because I certainly am very average in my makeup skills. And um, if I can do it, certainly anybody else with a little bit of practice can do it as well.